With the latest Disney Travel news, we are your hosts. I am Mike Bella Braddock. And I'm Amelia Bella Braddock. And today, gingerbread houses are popping up all over Walt Disney World, and we'll tell you what to get where and which are the best. Yes, it's that time of year again, and this whole episode is dedicated to gingerbread at Disney World and Disneyland, actually. Although they true, don't true. have as many, we will share where you can find them. And this year in particular, as the holidays are coming up fast... Everything is coming back. So through the past couple of years, not all the displays were in place. There was one year where the house did not even appear in the Grand Floridian lobby. so sad. But it is back now. And we will be there to take it all in. But for now, let's tell you what is where, what to expect. And there's some pretty cool new things. If you've never been at this time of year, this is, I think, our favorite thing about the Christmas season. It's mine, at yeah. least. And for that reason, we are staying club level at the Grand Floridian in Christmas because for me... You have to stay in the main building. Yeah, the smoke plumes of sort of cinnamon gingerbread that come out of that chimney of the house. The Royal Palm Club is just right over in that area and you can smell it in the hallways. And I love it personally. And finally, the past 10 years of me bugging have yeah. paid off. <laughs> We're back. Back in club level at the Grand coming Christmas. So what are we going to see? What can you see if you're going at that time of year? Let's go because these are the true showstoppers, I think, for Christmas. So everything's coming back. The first one up is the Grand Floridian. It's also the biggest, most majestic, the one a lot of people talk about. So let's dive in. Yes, and of course, Disney is still clutching onto their 50th celebration for a couple more months. So this year, the Gingerbread House at the Grand Floridian will have some extra fun colors and, of course, iridescent glow. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, we'll post pictures, but it is a life-size gingerbread house right in the lobby towards the back end of the lobby. It's sort of a storybook house, and the it is made out of gingerbread from a classic Austrian recipe. I, it's really molasses i I'm going to see again this year if I like it or not. I haven't loved the actual shingles, but there's other things they sell. We'll get into that. Those are quite good. Yeah, so it's decked out with white chocolate, candy canes, edible snowflakes, sugar poinsettias, and 25 hidden Mickeys. Ooh. 25 hidden Mickeys on that house alone. Now, are they hidden Mickeys or are they decorative Mickeys? We are going to attempt to find all 25 and photograph them and post that. Yes. And then there's porches surrounding the house. There's an 85-pound chocolate Santa there. Oh my goodness. Nutcrackers, toy soldiers, and snowmen have all been hand-painted by the bakery team at the Grand Floridian. Yeah, so this is quite an initiative. We love this house. It is definitely Christmas. Of course, there's a gigantic Christmas tree in the lobby, too. Of course. For me, this is the best lobby. No contest. A lot of people like Wilderness Lodge. It's pretty cool with the tree, too, but... I agree. This is The one-two punch of the grand Christmas tree and this gingerbread house. Yeah. But, Plus, I just like the vibe better there. True. But then again, it wouldn't be Disney if they weren't trying to sell you something. So, along with the gingerbread house, there are limited edition pins, mugs, ornaments, and of course, food. Yeah. And so they have a little... The, the actual house is basically like a little shop, right? There's a lineup and you can go to a counter. So people work inside this real gingerbread house. Now, see, that is a seasonal job I would love to be yeah. hired for. So, <laughs> The Disney cast member me work in the gingerbread house? Yes. I mean, I would gain so much weight doing that. But All right. So if you wait it. in that line... What are you going to be able to buy? Yeah, so first there is freshly baked homemade gingerbread Mickeys and shingles, which are actually from the gingerbread house itself. And then there's Olin bread, brownie Christmas trees, and also chocolate peppermint bark. Yes, they have house-made gingerbread ornaments and gingerbread houses. I wonder if we can bring a gingerbread house back. It depends if it's collapsed or not. True. We will have to see. I would be so mad if Ooh, that got ruined on a flight. There's some new items too. This year they are introducing a gingerbread latte whoopie pie as well as hot cocoa bombs. <laughs> oh man, that is like 
I can just feel the sugar. We're going to have to try some of this stuff. My teeth are going to rot. Luckily, we're staying right there so we can sort of go early or late when the lines are smaller because it yes. does actually gets a lineup at, at times. I know. We say a borderline ride lineup. Like this stuff is... And that's not all. We're not done yet. There are assorted gingerbread cookie bags. So you can buy bags of gingerbread cookies, which I might very well do that. Marshmallow pops and a caramel pecan fudge bar. Yes. And also there are gluten-friendly, plant-based and no sugar added options if you are trying to be slightly healthier around the holidays. And there's also a combo box which features assortments of different treats, including chocolate Mickey ornaments. And that's exclusive to the combo box. Yeah. So if you want the chocolate Mickey ornament... It is exclusive. You must buy the combo box. So lots going on with the gingerbread at the Grand Floridian always and this year a little bit more. But like I said, that's not all. Over at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, not far away, they will also have a beautiful tree, but they have a little bit of twist. Yes, they have a life-size baby gingerbread giraffe and a gingerbread baby zebra, which will appear on November 23rd. Oh, sorry, Animal Kingdom. I was thinking Wilderness Lodge when I was saying this. That's why. So Wilderness Lodge, different, but Animal yeah, Kingdom will have say, this. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know how close I was going to say, not so far away. Not too far away. If you life. are Mary Poppins. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So this is Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now it makes sense. Yes. And then starting December 6th, you can purchase a ginger raff cookie to yeah, enjoy. Yeah, so the Grand is first. It's open now. But November 23rd, Animal Kingdoms will go up. And then Disney's Beach Club. I like this one. This They're one's coming a pretty back. cool one. They have their gingerbread. Holiday classic. Which coming is back. a life-size carousel. And it actually turns. Yeah, this started in 1999. They did miss some COVID time, but it's back. So the carousel and its horses are created with chocolate, sugar, and fondant. And then they have hand-painted characters and handcrafted gingerbread shingles and snowflakes that decorate it and make it look... And I like what they're doing this good. year to make it a little bit different. Yes, all of the horses will celebrate a different Disney princess. Yeah, so that's cool. Some good I, photo ops there. I wonder if these are only like the actual official Disney princesses. Or if it if they're expanding the horizons a little we bit. We will have to see. We will have to see. Now, don't worry. There are things you can buy. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Don't don't worry. They're, they've got you covered. You can buy stuff. Yeah. What can you buy at the <laughs> beach club? So there are limited edition pins, mugs, and holiday ornaments. But if the smell of that gingerbread is just too much to take, there is also some signature stolen bread, candied pecans, which are plant-based, a trio of fudge, and a chocolate-covered marshmallow snowman, as well as a crispy rice treat, a new chocolate Mickey cookie, peppermint mark, a gingerbread shingle, chocolate gingerbread cookie, which is gluten-friendly, and as well as a regular gingerbread cookie, also gluten-friendly. They keep having this Stalin bread. I do not know what that is. I will say now. I will look it up after the show. It's S-T-O-L-L-E-N. Some sort of gingerbread dense bread, I'm assuming. It might be quite good. So it seems to be at a lot of Disney places. They like their Stalin bread or stolen bread, however you pronounce it. That is one thing I do not know, but hey, we're going to try it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll report back. Exactly. We'll let you know if you haven't already tasted it for yourself. And across Crescent Lake from yes. the Beach Club. Nearby at Disney's Boardwalk Inn, they have their classic gingerbread creation, which is coming on November 17th. Yeah, theirs is a little different. Yeah, it's a miniature edible version of the Boardwalk Deli, and a lot of their treats are new this year, including the Boardwalk Mickey Sugar Cookie, the Giant Gingerbread Mickey Cookie, the Artisan Peppermint Marshmallows, as well as Carnival Bark, and then there's also Mickey and Minnie Sugar Cookies, Gluten-Friendly and Plant-Based, Gingerbread Mickey Cookies, as well as a Gingerbread Frost Cocktail. Ooh, now you got me. Well, oh. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get to that area. We'll see. We can always try. Back in our loop, we will definitely get to the Contemporary Resort. They're back. The bakery team hard at work for the 11th year creating their gingerbread display. It's not the grandest one of all, but it is pretty cool. That lobby is a little bit weird because they have the elevators in the middle. So it sort of takes away from open spaces. Mm -hmm. but, but nonetheless, November 11th is the big day. At 11 a.m. Yeah, for this their one 11th a, year. A precise oh, that's why the precise time, right? I was going, yeah. why does this one have a precise time? I was like, oh, it's the moment of silence for Memorial Day. But no, it's just their 11th year. And of course, they will have a 50th theme display because 
you have to. And there are also 11 hidden five-legged goats. Yeah, that's cool because they got the five-legged goat in the mural. So we'll have to watch for that in their display too. Ali, you have to check it out. And as always... You can buy stuff! You can buy stuff at the Contemporary. Pins, mugs, and holiday ornaments, and food, obviously. So they have a 50th anniversary gingerbread castle brick. Hmm. That sort of has me intrigued. They have a cookie box. We get the coconut macro. Oh, I like this. So each chef who worked on it has their own thing in this cookie box. So there's a coconut macaron from Chef Jeff, a sugar cookie from Chef Kelly, a butterball from Chef Amber, a kitchen sink cookie representing Mm -hmm. all the cast in the bakery coming together for the display. And there is a chocolate peppermint cookie. There is a... Mm. What is a Linzer cookie? I don't know. Disney's really experimenting this year. With some other foods, but I'm sure it will be good. They have a gluten-friendly five-legged goat sugar cookie, which is new. A dark chocolate peppermint holiday bar, which is new. Hot cocoa bombs, which are new. And some frozen drinks with optional alcohol floaters. Oh, that's cool. Maybe some for me. So they're- they've got a frozen coquito, and you can have rum if you want on the top. Frozen hot chocolate with peppermint schnapps on top. Ooh, and this one I want, minus, of course, the fireball floater, a frozen apple cider. Oh, the fireball, I'll take that. That is uh, like cinnamon whiskey, so that would be good. And I'm there's sure more. It would be good, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> there's more drinks, though. So there's more at several places across all of Walt Disney World Resort. So they have a new gingerbread martini that uses Absolute Alex vodka, rum chata, cream liqueur, and a gingerbread spice, and a rim of gingerbread, freshly baked at the resort bakeries. And you'll find this at the Grand Floridian Cafe, at Citrico's, Enchanted Rose, all at the Grand Floridian. Boma has it. And Flavors of Africa and Sanaya at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Chef Mickey's and Outer Rim at the Contemporary. And during dinner only, I guess they don't want you to have it for breakfast, (laughs) at Cape May at Disney's Beach Club Resort. Yes, and also returning this year are pin signings with the Disney pastry chefs. And dates and times will... I like that. I think that's cool. Yeah, they vary depending on your resort. So we will have to look into that. They are You get something unique. And at the Disney World Parks, the American Adventure Pavilion at Epcot will have their display beginning on November 25th. And this display recreates the classic monuments in America. Ooh, gingerbread monuments. Of course, with, of course, the gingerbread, because what else would you make it with? Including the Lincoln Memorial, the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, and the American Adventure Building with the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, craft drinks, and barbecue. And they're just not found on land (laughs) if you're on a Disney cruise ship. There's going to be gingerbread there, too. Yes. And this year, the Disney Wish will join it for its inaugural holiday celebration with an eight foot tall, eight layer. Wow. (laughs) That's pretty big. Masterpiece. And each gingerbread house is unique for each ship. ship, And the Disney pastry teams will compete to see which Disney ship has the best house. And if you're out west or traveling out west to Disneyland, don't worry. There's not quite as much, but there are some pretty good ones. The classic, for starters, is Inside the Haunted Mansion. Yes, of course. You can't really eat or buy this one, but they do have... Yes, Disneyland guests yeah. will be happy to find that the Haunted Mansion Gingerbread House will be up and running again this year. It takes over 20 days to bring this to life with nearly 300 pounds, I it, think. It has moving parts, too. Yeah, I've and, seen that. Exactly. It's pretty incredible. And this will open on November 14th. And then also on the 14th at the Grand Californian, they have their own gingerbread house in the lobby. It's the Grand Gingerbread House. I take issue with that since the Grand Floridians. So theirs is pretty big too. It's Theirs is different. It's a replica of the hotel itself. It's not quite as cool in my opinion as the Grand Floridians. Which was but first? Hey, not sure which was first. But it stands 7 feet tall and 12 feet wide, also Whoa. pretty big. It's 600 pounds of chocolate. Yes. And or sorry, of gingerbread and 600 and, pounds of sugar. And 250 pounds of fondant and one pound of pixie dust. Also has a bunch of hidden Mickeys, 25 of them there too. You know, it took me far too long to realize that it was called the Grand Floridian because it's in Florida and the Grand Californian Are you because it's in me? California. No, no, no. I got the one in California, but the Grand Floridian, I literally think I was like 11 before I was like, oh, wow, I get that, it. that makes so much sense. I, All right, and don't worry, if you're in Disneyland, lots of items that you can buy 
limited edition and otherwise food and pins. What yes, do we have? Exactly. So there is the Mickey gingerbread, the poinsettia cookie, the snowman cookie, the Christmas cookie, the Hanukkah cookie, the holiday cookie box, newly assorted macarons, new Kwanzaa sweet potato loaf, Ooh, that sounds good. a new New Year's cookie, a Rice Krispie, hot chocolate, hot apple cider, which is available with Bailey's Irish Cream, Captain Morgan, Grand Marnier or Rum Chata. Yes, and a waffle shot, which is available with milk, low-fat milk, chocolate milk, or eggnog if you want to get in the holiday spirit. Or a waffle shot with all of those liqueurs again. Yes. So and, you can have it either way. But, 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 and it's also available with more liqueurs, including amaretto, butterscotch schnapps. Wow, there's quite a range here. Yeah. Rumpelmins, Crown Royal Apple. Yes, Screwball Whiskey, Fireball Whiskey, and Louis the Thirteenth. And... There is a limited edition snow globe pin featuring Chippendale. Because of course there's a pin. So you'll find all of this stuff at the Grand Californian Holiday Cart. So you can get all this stuff there. So Make sure there you by. have it. Could we talk for 15 minutes about gingerbread and talk nonstop? You bet. Disney loves their gingerbread during the holiday uh, season. <laughs> yes. So check it out. We will do our best to taste it all and report back through our blog or on a future show right before yeah, Christmas. Which so. limited edition pin are we going to buy? There's yeah. just so many for sale. We will see what we can come up with. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. As always, follow along at 1923 Main Street for the latest Disney travel news. We will see you again next week and have a magical day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.